All right, whose birthday is it today? Mine. All right, to we just woke up. It's Cohen's birthday, and he's ready to open presents. So this is how we're starting the vlog. Got yesterday when you opened your yeah, we'll show him when he's done. Okay, bud. Someone just woke up. But canoodle what? Canoodle genius. Look at the front of it. Yeah. No, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's that. It's got over 202 puzzles. I know, mind blown. Who's this one? Who's this one? I don't know, you'll have to open it and see. He opened two of his presents last night. He opened the cool cube and Whoa. his new glove. Whoa! I love it, I love it. Whoa! I want two It makes 60 different puzzles. And you have a like a carrying case, you can take it places. This one sounds a lot. This one has something bouncy in it. Something bouncy? Like, does it? I want the dolls out. We're gonna let them out as soon as you're done opening presents, okay? Oh, oh, oh. This is a black box. But it's something else. What is it? It's a game. A bottle flip game, so you know what it has? Look at the back. It's a game for like two to four players and it has challenges that you have to do when you flip bottles. You have to what it is, and you have to guess like what it is after the bottle. Can't do it. I have to go and it'll be an organ. Wait, Mom, can we take all my presents? We'll see. You all right, Annie? Okay, next, next one is the biggest one. I always start with the biggest one. Next. The biggest ones aren't always the best ones, so. I had that. Wait, wait, wait. We literally all just got out of bed. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's like a letter thing. Wait, Read it. Word search. Oh, it's a word search. It's a word search game. I'm, I'm reading this to Oregon and I'm reading it. Could you just, an organ together? Nana likes word searches, huh? Yep. Oh, it's a board game. No, it's a board game. So that doesn't come off, bud. Oh. Okay, you got two left. I don't know what this one is. Oh, Bella. Bella. I guess what the other one is. I don't even know what it is. I gotta guess. Oh, what is this? It looks like a Rubik's Cube. It is a Rubik's Cube. Open this. <laughs> Please. You should read, the, read the box. Look at the front and see what it oh, is. Does it go in the dark? It's a handheld game. Oh, it's a handheld game? Yeah. It's called flip side. Don't, oh. after you open your last present, we'll open it and show you how it works because it's, it's kind of noisy. This one I'm not, this one I thought was just cool. It was just something that made me think of you. A shirt. But read what it says. I gotta open the shirt up. Yeah. Here, you help me open it? I got it. Tall guy, beard, turns purple. Oh, it's not Yeah, turn around and show me. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's I'm a, taking this on the trip. You want to wear it today? Mm -hmm. Jax, it's not like it. Do you like it, Jax? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll have to get you one. I like all of my presents. All right, happy birthday, Cohen. Thank you. Let's we're going to we're gonna open some of his presents and open his oh. cards up, and then I'll come back in a few minutes and show you guys his birthday donuts that Nana got him, um, and then yeah. we're going to get ready. What, babe? There's more presents? That's all the presents, babe. He opened, Jax, you wanna come here and show them his glove? He opened his glove last night and that really cool so, magnetic cube that you guys, they saw it, you wanna sit down? So, yeah. This and, and, I, and it is made out of American steel. So it holds up pretty well. Yeah, it's a nice glove. This one, it's stiff though. He got to open it last night because you guys were out playing catch together, huh? And kind of trying to breaking it in. Hold on, babe. I've broken it in a little bit. Yeah, and then he also opened up that cube that he got last night too, his like magnetic one. You can open the cards, yeah. 11 and a half inches. Mom, this is from you. That one's for, from Dad and I, and the other one's from Nana. You put the sticker on your face. Thank you, Mom. Did Dad see these ones? Yeah, he did. Go show him again. All right, guys, we will be back when we have our donuts. 
Okay, Cohen's playing with his new toys. He loves that like Rubik's flip game. I don't know, whatever the little handheld game is, he's obsessed. And then this is the cube he got last night. It's really cool, he loves this. Unlike anything else he's ever had, it's got like magnets in it, it's so fun. So I thought I would just show you guys the donuts while he plays with that because it's kind of a chaotic morning. Um, and Annie, literally, we had to wake her up to come down here so everyone's just tired and all that. So. I did get him a number nine candle, and then my mom grabbed these yesterday from a Drizzle Donut Company. If you guys don't know what this is, it's like a place where you can kind of like make your own donut and choose any topping you want. And they also have like a menu with like their favorites or like, you know, kind of like, you can order something off the menu. So you can say like, oh, I'd like the Snickers donut, please. Or you can make your own and kind of build your own from the donut up. Like literally choose a different kind of donut and any different kind of toppings. So. I'll show you these really quick because I know his game is really loud in the background. So she got four of the maple bacon. This, I believe she said, do you remember what she said this was? Um, I don't know, but I know this one's a Snickers. That's Snickers, yeah. It looks like there's like crushed peanuts on top, but this, I think it's like brownies, a peanut butter brownie, that's what it Maybe. is, because that's brownie pieces and that's peanut butter on top. So, I want that peanut butter one. All right, well, we'll ask Cohen what he's doing, okay? So these are what they are having for breakfast, and then after breakfast, we're gonna go get ready. 1.8 seconds. 1.8 seconds? Yes. Good 1. job. 8. Wow. So after this, we're going to start getting ready for the day. So it's loud and chaotic. I just thought I would show you guys these really quick. All right. We are on our way. Can we, is it going to focus? Can we see the birthday boy? There he is. There's Aniston. Chris pouting. He's like, go, bye, bye. freedom. Um, Chris took Jackson to school this morning and then I stayed home while he took him and finished getting ready. Cohen and I had to get ready and I had a few last minute things to pack and stuff like that. Um, I feel really uh, B.A.D. since uh, the other two aren't going, but they've known about it for a long time and I think that these individual like one-on-one -on -one time trips are super important um, and hopefully we will all be going back in June. You plan on trying to go when we go again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just kind of based off of Jackson's all-star schedule. He's gonna be playing all-stars this summer. So it's kind of like all based off of that. But how's your birthday so far, Cohen? The best. The best? What are you playing with? You wanna show them? Um, my new cube I got yesterday. Yep, that magnetic cube we showed him earlier. Mm -hmm. He loves it. So he brought that with him. He also brought a puzzle book that Jen sent. He brought Canoodle and then that flip, whatever that Rubik's like handheld oh, oh. game is. I'm sorry. Flip side, that's what it's called. You think I'd be able to remember that, huh? Um, so we are actually on our way to my mom's house right now. It's like 8.45. We're gonna pick her up and then head straight to the airport. Our plane leaves at 11.20. I don't wanna get there too early because it's boring for Cohen to sit there. So hopefully we don't hit any traffic or anything like that. Um, I was gonna say something and I forgot. I don't remember what it is now. So we'll probably check back in with you guys once we get to the airport. Um, and then my brother will be picking us up and we are gonna head to his house after that. So I'm super excited. It's supposed to be 81 in Oregon today, which is like, whoo, like a scorcher. And today I think the high here is like 100. So we get to escape the heat for a little while. But I, oh, that's what I was gonna tell you. Chris got Aniston dressed this morning and came in in an outfit that didn't match. And then he was like, show me how to do her hair like the rundown he left all her hair stuff out so it's ready to go so it'll be interesting to see the outfits that she's dressed in over the next couple of days I offered to lay outfits out but he said he wants to do it so it'll be interesting to see <laughs> that's for sure and are you gonna continue the school lunches have you decided they really want it huh they do well this I feel is like you, I'm really is... gonna disappoint some people if I don't do a Friday treat now so thanks Chad. well this is YouTube oh. so TikTok's the one that wants like the Friday treats, I do Friday treats. If you guys don't follow us on TikTok, it's Prickly Pear 86. And we started Friday treats when Jackson was in kindergarten. So I do these all the time. Every Friday I post a Friday treat video. So they're all expecting him to do it now. And then I also do like school lunch videos and like 60 second daily vlogs. I should like go crazy and like buy like the ultimate Friday treat buffet. Let's, let's. Like spend like a hundred dollars and treats. No. Yeah, that'd let's be sick. take it down a notch. That'd Any be so cool. Okay, anyways, let's hope he doesn't do that. They're all wanting him to like do the things I always do, and he's like, I, I don't know what to do. So the pressure's on, and he's getting comments like on his videos, like, 
what's gonna happen Chris are you gonna do a Friday treat like so it'll be funny to see what happens with that what he decides to do but we're gonna be to my mom's house in like five minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and put my camera back in my carry-on and then we'll probably check back in with you guys at the airport you wanna say bye later you wanna say bye guys bye. peace and love peace bye. out bye all right, you guys, so I suck at vlogging. I'm gonna go ahead and just apologize for that right now. It is now Thursday, May 6th. Yes, we got in yesterday, and yes, I forgot to vlog the rest of the day. A couple of reasons why. One, our flight was delayed like an hour and a half, so we didn't leave Phoenix. Sorry, there's like, I'm trying to find good lighting in here. We didn't leave Phoenix um, until like an hour and a half late, which obviously we got into Portland super late then. And then what should have been like a 45 minute to an hour drive, we took almost like two hours to get to my brother's house. So it was insane. And then my aunt met us here. I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, and so we just kind of hung out. He showed us around their new house and it's beautiful. We love it here. It's a beautiful house, beautiful property, amazing. So we just hung out all night on the deck, had dinner outside, a couple drinks. It was so much fun, but it was so nice to catch up. Cohen's having a blast with my nieces. They have like two and a half acres. So he's just like outside literally all day, every day. And then um, we've just been hanging out and having fun. And so I totally forgot to vlog. So I feel bad. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, which by the time you guys see this, I'll be home. But if you follow me on Instagram, um, which is Kramer.crew, I've been posting like little snippets to my stories. Um, that's easier to keep up with and obviously like pulling my camera out to vlog. So it is now like 3.50 on Thursday. It's my nephew's first birthday today. So I'm so happy we get to be here for that. He's so stinking cute and we're getting ready to have his party. I think people are gonna start coming. My sister-in-law said at like four or 4.30. So her and I just got everything all set up and decorated over at the guest house. And it's a cute balloon arch we did and it's a donut theme and it says like donut grow up so stinking cute i took some pictures and i'll have to share them and then she did she got him a smash cake that she put donuts on top of and then like these donut towers for the guests like so cute it's gonna be amazing so i just came downstairs i was facetiming annie and art annie and jackson and they were telling me about their day at school and she was showing me she has a super loose tooth that's about to come out and chris is getting ready to take them over to his boss's house because he has a pool and they're gonna go swimming but i just wanted to jump on and kind of update the vlog i decided i know this started out as like a birthday vlog for cohen and like our first day of the trip I'm gonna just vlog a little bit each day and combine it all into one one vlog um, That'll just be easier because I'm only gonna be doing like little snippets here and there throughout the day So if I do it each individual day, it's not gonna be enough to be like a full vlog for the day So I'll just vlog the trip all at once um, because like I said, I'm focusing mostly on spending time with my family um, I'm cherishing these moments and getting to hang out with my nieces and my nephew and spend time with my sister-in-law Her and I had coffee together out on the deck this morning. It was amazing like beautiful views of the mountains all the green trees I can kind of show you really quick out their back window I'm in my niece's room. Um, this right here up there is the deck that we were sitting out on and obviously when you're up on the deck you have this view it's gorgeous so i've just been cherishing all that but i wanted to check in really quick and kind of explain um how i just decided i'm gonna vlog the entire trip into one thing and just do like little snippets but i promise one of these days i'll get back with vlogging and i honestly just forgot if i'm being 100 percent completely honest i was in the moment which is the most important thing about life and trips like this is being in the moment and spending time with family yes i love it and i love sharing it with you guys but obviously my priority is the family so i thought i'd just do little snippets and i know you guys are understanding and you'll you'll get it so i'm gonna head back upstairs now though and help her she's making tacos we're doing like a taco bar so i'm gonna go help her before people come but i wanted to check in really quick so i will be i will be back possibly tonight if not for sure tomorrow all right bye guys okay it's our last day here yesterday we just hung out went to the toy store and spent the kids gift cards i just want to show you real quick i'm downstairs in the basement it's super cool if you go this way It's a tunnel. So like down, if you go all the way down to that door, it leads into a garage and then into their guest house. They've got some wine storage here, super cool. There's a phone down here for if you ever get locked in the tunnel. But so neat, I've never seen one of these in a house before, so I just had to come on and show you guys. Um, and then I was gonna show you a little bit of the beautiful backyard. Um, I'm still getting ready for the day. I just finished blow drying my hair, so I gotta straighten it and do my makeup, so I haven't, I'm not gonna show my face quite yet. I'll do that when we get to the airport um, and check in with you guys because it's just Cohen and myself flying back because my mom's going with my brother to Maui. So this is like the kid hangout area and then upstairs is like all the main living. Um, I'll show you just how beautiful and green Oregon is. <clears throat> okay, so here, oh, I need to remember to take those with us. Those are Cohen's. 
So here's their beautiful yard. Um, over here is some vineyards that belong to the neighbors. This is like wine country, so it's just absolutely gorgeous. The high today is only 57, but it feels fantastic out. It's not too cold, it's perfect. Um, there's their garden down there, just a really beautiful, if you're up on the deck, I'm standing underneath the deck right now because I came out of like the walkout basement. But if you're up on the deck, you have views of the mountains. I can't remember what mountains you can see from here, but it's cloudy today and you can't see them. Otherwise I would go show you guys up there. But I just wanted to check in. I did not end up vlogging at all yesterday. We had such a chill day. It was so nice. I visited with my sister-in-law and had coffee, just played with my nephew and my nieces all morning. Then we went to their little downtown area and all the kids had gift cards for a toy store locally called Hopscotch. So they got to go buy toys with their gift cards then we just walked to the downtown area it was so much fun it was so crazy though to see how different oregon is right now and like the phases that they're in with all the covid restrictions so i'll have to tell you guys a little bit more about that later but i wanted to check in really quick i'm gonna go do my makeup right now um and get ready for the day and then i'll check back in once my makeup's done um thank you guys for being patient i know this is kind of like an odd vlog with just like little snippets but i thought it'd be fun to just share little bits and pieces because like i said my main focus is just being with my family i haven't seen my nieces in 15 months i haven't seen my nephew in 11 months so just really wanted to soak it in and enjoy the time with them so i will check back in once i am ready for the day Can you see that there? We're at the airport. Yes, we're at the airport and we're waiting for our flight, right? Yep, so we go back to the Jackson and the Whippy Cushions. Yeah, we got them presents. And to, and when I get home, I'm going to you, play with my marble oh set. Boy. We'll show and, them. And we'll know what, when we're in Arizona, when we see so it's a little bit darker. Yeah. Oh, we'll see it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. We'll have to show you guys what we got at the toy store for everyone, huh? I got Doritos and water. Yeah, so we're gonna wait. We board in like 20 minutes. So we're gonna have a snack oh, and then we'll. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. We will check back in when we get home, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, say bye. Uh, bye. All right, we are back in Arizona. You wanna say hi, babe? What's up, YouTube? Um, we got home late last night. Our flight, once again, was late. Um, not too late, but it was like 30 minutes late. So not too bad. Um, and it was quite the plane ride with Cohen. He is really good, but his medicine had like worn off long before that. So it was a rough trip. So by the time we got home and got like, it was like what, 9.30 probably? Yeah, 9.30. It was like probably like 9.30 that we, when we actually got home and I was just too tired to even close out the vlog. So like, I'll come on tomorrow and do it. So today is Chris's birthday. What's happy up, birthday. Thank you. Um, happy so Day. thank you. And happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. So we're just kind of hanging out today. We don't really have any plans. We just taste tested the new Nerdy Nuts flavors. He talked about maybe going bowling or something. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's up to him. It's his birthday. I kind of feel like just being lazy. So if he wants to just stay home, I'm good with that. Um, but we are going to head to Dairy Queen at least and get an ice cream cake because that's his favorite kind of cake for his birthday. Yep. So we're going to do that. Um, we had a fantastic trip. I feel like we really got to actually like sit and hang out and like usually when we go visit we're so busy going and doing everything and like while you're still spending time with each other when you're doing all of that it's like busy and it's go 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 it was really a nice relaxing time we just hung out at the house and got to hang out and spend quality time together which is what i really wanted so like i've explained like 500 times already in this vlog that's why i didn't vlog a whole lot and i just decided to do like little snippets and put it into one vlog but i really enjoyed the quality time we it was so sad to say goodbye my nephew kept waving bye to me at, like on our way to the airport and i was like so sad and I feel like my nieces had grown so much it'd been like 15 months since I'd seen them and they were like so tall they looked like so different like I hadn't seen them in years it was crazy so we enjoyed our trip um things are so different in Oregon right now than they are compared to Arizona with like all of the restrictions and everything um we had some gift cards to use from the toy shop I think I mentioned that earlier and afterwards we were like walking around downtown it was a beautiful day and getting some fresh air um and everyone walking around downtown even by themselves or like as you're driving through the town they live in like if you just see someone walking their dog by themselves they like have their mask on i'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing but like in arizona if you're like outside and you're like walking around like you don't usually wear your mask now if you're like in a crowded downtown area i would understand that but they live in a really small town so it's not even like a crowded downtown area but we wore our masks around and followed the rules obviously and we decided um maybe we would stop at one of their restaurants 
and get like fries for the kids to share. And my mom, sister-in-law and I would get like a drink um, cause they live in wine country. So we were like, oh, let's go have a drink. And like, they had a cool rooftop dining area and we'll like, we'll eat outside. It's a beautiful day, enjoy the fresh air. So we went, my sister-in-law went in and I waited out with the kids and my mom and they told her that they have now changed. It used to be a limit of eight people at a table in a restaurant and they had now changed it to six. Well, my nephew, he just turned one and he counted as like a full, full grown person. So that would put us at seven. So little Remy tipped us over the limit and they would not let us have a table together, even though we were all coming from the same household to eat together. Um, and they said that we'd have to get two separate tables if we wanted to eat there and we would not be able to interact at all with the other table. So I told my sister-in-law, I was like, let's do that. Just put the three older kids at their own table, like jokingly, but we just decided to go home and not do that. We were gonna get ice cream, but like same thing, like if we wanted to sit inside the little ice cream place or even like outside of it at their tables and eat, we had too many people to eat together. So we would have had to like walk around with our ice cream. So just totally different compared to Arizona. I'm not against following restrictions. It's just crazy to see the difference in where Oregon's at and where Arizona's at. It's like night and day, it's insane. They're pretty much still like completely shut down in Oregon, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's just so crazy to see. And then seeing Portland, that was really sad as well. We didn't go into Portland, but like driving by like on the freeway and seeing like the amount of trash and like there's homeless people everywhere. So like tents everywhere. So that's really sad. Um, like people can literally have homeless people right outside of their house right outside their apartment and like you can't do anything about it. Um, and then the, also the amount of like graffiti and like damage that's been done to the city. Um, because I've always like lived near Portland. So I've grown up going there my entire life and just, I hadn't been home in three and a half years. So it was like a night and day difference seeing it. And it was a complete shock because it wasn't like that last time. Cause my last trip back home, we spent a ton of time in Oregon because my dad was in the hospital in Portland for a triple by for a triple bypass. So we spent a ton of time in Portland. My last trip home, we were at the Rose Garden, we were at the zoo, um, just trying out a bunch of different parks for the kids all around Portland. And like, we just explored the city, even though I've been a zillion times, my kids loved exploring the city. And it's like sad that you can't do that anymore. You would not recognize Portland, babe. No, probably not. I haven't been there in nine years. Yeah, you haven't been. So hopefully this summer, we're hoping to road trip back to Oregon and drive this time, I think. And you're wanting to come, right? Yes. And we can spend some time there. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited. So we'll see. I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. We had a great trip. I don't really know what's going on this week. We have a lot of baseball once again, because we're doing all stars now. Yes. So I need to like go and check um, and see what's going on this week and kind of as we get ready for the week, plan out the week and see what days we have what, and then I'll pick a day to do like a regular vlog here from home. Um, and then tomorrow, Chris and I get our second COVID shots. So he'll be working from home tomorrow. Yes, I will. So hopefully we're feeling good after that. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Um, but other than that, we're just gonna get ready for the week. Maybe go celebrate your birthday if you want to. Yep. It's up to you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so I just wanted to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much. Um, we are gonna go decide what we're gonna do for the day. So I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Hit that notification bell for all the notifications. Like and subscribe. Thanks, now you know where the kids get it, huh? Yep. They always say that. All right, bye guys.